It's 10 totally random trivia questions from a confidence round that I used to close out my live trivia nights in Southern California. This is Trivia with Buds. Welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show, and thanks for listening to some great moments in pop culture history that I'm going to read you right now. Here comes the first one, which is about pink flamingos that you put on your lawn. In 1957, Union Products of Leominster, Massachusetts, introduced the ultimate in tacky lawn ornaments, the plastic pink flamingo. Designed by artist Don Featherstone, they were sold in the Sears mail order catalog for $2.76 a pair, with the instructions place in garden lawn or a roundhouse to beautify landscape. Authentic pink flamingos, which are sold only in pairs and bear Featherstone signature under their tails, are no longer on the market. Union Products shuttered its factory in 2006, but knockoffs ensure the bird's survival. So there's some background on the pink flamingos. How about troll dolls? It says Danish sculptor Thomas Dam created the popular troll doll as a handmade wooden gift for his daughter. After it caught the eye of the owner of a toy shop, Damn It Dolls were born. And plastic versions with trademark oversized hairdos hit the mass market. The dolls swept the U.S. in the early 60s and were lugged around as good luck charms by people of all ages and walks of life, including Lady Bird Johnson. And your very last one here, lava lamps. In the early 1960s, Englishman Edward Craven Walker invented the lava light, and Chicago entrepreneur Adolf Wertheimer bought the American distribution rights after seeing it at a trade show. Within five years, two million lava lights had been sold in the U.S. So there's some great moments in sort of tacky history for you to kick off today's episode. We've got 10 totally random questions for you from a confidence round coming up. Questions on all walks of life. Here we go. All right, confidence round trivia. These are 10 random ones coming at you right now. Number one, what is the name of the NBA team in Minnesota? Number one, what is the name of Minnesota's NBA team? Number one. Question number two, the name of what cocktail is Spanish for strained pineapple? Number two, the name of what cocktail is Spanish for strained pineapple? Number two. Number three, which symbol is widely used on internet browsers to indicate a website is secure? Number three, which symbol is widely used on internet browsers to indicate a website is secure? And number four, what color of light indicates the starboard side of a ship? Number four, what color of light indicates the starboard side of a ship? Number five, in the 1984 film The Karate Kid, what was the name of the karate tournament in which Daniel LaRusso competed? Number five, what is the name of the tournament from The Karate Kid? Number six, when weathered, the ore of which metal can produce malachite? Number six, when weathered, the ore of which metal can produce malachite? Number six. Number seven, Mr. Jingles is the name of a pet mouse found in what Stephen King novel and movie? Number seven, Mr. Jingles is the name of a pet mouse found in what Stephen King novel and movie? Number eight, who was the first person to say live from New York, it's Saturday night on SNL? Number eight, who was the first person to say live from New York, it's Saturday night on SNL? Number nine, what city is nicknamed the Harbor City? Number nine, what city is nicknamed the Harbor City? And number 10, which animated TV series running from 2005 to 2008 featured a main character named Aang, A-A-N-G. Number 10, which animated TV series running from 2005 to 2008 featured a main character named Aang, A. A N G. 
Those are all your questions for the confidence round. We'll be back with the answers after this. Here we go with the answers for the confidence round for today. Thank you for giving these questions a shot. Number one, what is the name of the NBA team in Minnesota? That would be the Minnesota Timberwolves. Timberwolves, I remember selecting them on occasion in NBA Jam back in the day. Number one, Timberwolves. Number two, the name of what cocktail is Spanish for strained pineapple? Pina colada. And if you like uh, pina coladas, getting caught in the rain, etc., Maybe you got that question right. Number two, pina colada. Number three, which symbol is widely used on internet browsers to indicate a website is secure? A padlock or a lock? If you just said lock, that was fine. But more specifically, that little padlock. Number three. Number four, what color of light indicates the starboard side of a ship that is green? Green light is the starboard side of a ship. Number five, in the Karate Kid, what was the name of the tournament Daniel competes in? The All Valley Karate Tournament, the All Valley Karate Tournament. I just saw they're coming out with very cool looking uh, Cobra Kai Ninja Turtle crossover series. So it's action figures and it's four characters from C- Cobra Kai teamed up with a different turtle in every box. So it's a two pack with uh, one of each of those characters. So you have like Donatello and Daniel or Johnny and Leonardo. It looked uh, pretty awesome. Those come out very soon. Number six, when weathered, the ore of which metal can produce malachite? Copper. Number six, copper. And that is a question I would have no idea on even where to begin to guess. I don't know anything about ores or metals or the word malachite for that uh, matter. Number six, copper. Number seven, Mr. Jingles is the name of a pet mouse in what Stephen King novel and movie? The Green Mile, Michael Clark Duncan. He's got uh, the little mouse. Number seven, number eight, who was the first person to say live from New York? It's Saturday night on SNL, Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase, beloved actor of the 80s, but not so beloved if you've worked with him, from what I hear. Number nine, what city is nicknamed the Harbor City? Sydney, Australia, Sydney. And number 10, which animated TV series running from 05 to 08 featured a main character named Aang that is Avatar the Last Airbender? Avatar. Not to be confused with Avatar James Cameron with the blue creatures, but the other one with all the different elements of the wind and water and fire and all that stuff. All right. Thank you guys for listening to today's episode. Hope you had a fun time playing along. Your fact of the day is that cats sleep 16 to 18 hours per day. Cats and sometimes people who like to party, right? Maybe it's you. Maybe you're a cat. Mm Mm-hmm. You might be a cat. All right. That is uh, today's episode. Thanks for listening. Thanks for the support on Patreon. Thanks for leaving iTunes reviews. And whenever you leave me a review, make sure to email me, ryanbuds at gmail.com with your mailing address so I can send you some fun swag in the mail, stickers, bookmarks, and more. Thanks, guys. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.